Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more insurmountable. We are on the, we're at the summit of the second mountain. Got to climb down this and then climb up the second, and then we are done with this run. Maybe we'll do it today. We shall see. But for now, we we look like we're in a bad spot as far as this stuff goes. But uh, truthfully, we are absolutely just stacked. Uh, for stuff here. If we put on these gloves and then we take like a little nap here, then the only thing that we're worried about is the oxygen, which I think is fine. Oh, look at that. See, yeah, look at that right there. Uh, a brief sleep will make us lose uh, lose heat, but this clearly makes it obvious that uh, when we wake up during the day, we will be gaining heat by moving. So I think that that is going to be a good idea to just go for it. Go for a long sleep. The uh, the problem here is basically the oxygen. We have an oxygen tank in our pack. I would love to not have to use it so we could bring it to the next mountain where it might be a little bit more. Why is it so bright up here? Whoa, so bright up here. What the hell? Wahapa. All right, so if we click there, where's our path implying that we should go? Okay, down there. Uh, I think that if we switch to, I think we want to switch to the energy cost reduction there, like just not having to, to switch as much and we should, yeah, we are still gaining heat by moving down. I'm finding it hard to believe that that's the correct path, but like, it, it wouldn't lie to me, would it? Uh, okay. So if energy is on, oops on like a, a critical kind of area. We want to go down a nice clean little way here. God, I can't, I can't get over how blown out the light, the, the contrast is up here or the brightness is just so, so wild. I don't remember it being this way, but maybe we are typically just always up at the, the summit at nighttime. I guess that is probably just it, huh? Uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot of event. Okay, there's one. There's one. What does it look like? to go there and then to go there it is it would take 24 hours how fast would it be to go this way 22 hours a difference of two hours i mean if i could confirm so if we, okay if we go to this path and then we go there does it take us through eventville down there it takes us right past a cave takes us uh yeah that that way brings us to more events so i think we go with this take ourselves to this spot at the very least here uh four hours okay we'll definitely turn up the speed here i think we'll want to actually stop right before the dangerous tiles shouldn't we all right like where's where are where the dangerous tiles are right there okay let's go right there we should be able to be able to use single-minded so we could ignore the terrain effects uh right there which should be quite helpful perfect timing let's go all right single-minded up in there we could use and we probably should use our uh our other Oh, no, 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 no. We weren't using the other ones. Because we're not on... We weren't on ice. We weren't on ice. Alright. So here... Okay, and there is another... What is it? Is it a... Oh, it's a treasure. Okay, okay. Which I think you, means they usually have supplies. Uh, We have seen this. Reach into the hole. Sure. What... Ooh. Minus time cost on flat terrain. And... One height difference climbing. Oh. That's tough. That's tough there. Um, so it might be worth it to replace this here. Like we, the other option is what we, we use an herb. Not a bad idea. Other option, obviously we could use a canned food, but uh, that that's too important. Let's go for this here. Sure. Let, let's take it with us for now. A little sketchy. 
Like we could, uh, I, I mean, we could switch back and forth all the time. I don't know. I'm not too into that idea. But let's get down here. If we could try and get uh, out of the death zone as quickly as possible, that would be the most ideal situation, obviously. Oh, there's so many darn events. We could continue our uh, our trek of trying to farm out as much experience as possible while we are so well equipped. Please don't be an energy requiring task. Thoroughly search the tents. Uh, last time we we did a quick look around and we found something. We we found an entire freaking tent. Okay, well, did we switch them? Yeah, sure. Okay, not a big deal. Oxygen is indeed becoming a problem, and it's going. We're gonna enter the cold boy zone. This is fine. This is fine. It's it's just it's gonna have to be okay. It's gonna have to be okay. We'll hopefully just find another oxygen tank on the next mountain. Uh otherwise we could try and go down here. If we really just push it. If we really just push it, this should be good. Uh this will be helpful for that. Because I feel like these are all, like, one height difference. Oh, my God. <laughs> A dangerous event happened, and we get experience for that. Long crevasse hinders your advance. Narrow spot where you can attempt to jump. You know... You almost make the jump cleanly, hitting the crevasse at the other side hard. That sucks. All right. Okay. Sanity gain in events. Sanity back. We'll move on. Ice weakens the effect of stormy weather. Eh? Maybe. Here's what I do want to do, though. I, I want to go for warm-up, especially now that we have so many tents. I want to see if we can unlock the next, like, section on the tree, you know? Like, I, I think that this has become more usable now than I, I think it's ever been for us. Please do not hit me with too many events. Also, we really should be doing Ice Mastery. I can only assume this is ice, right? Like, I think it says it's a glacier, but... If this isn't ice... The hell is ice? I probably should have done that. Where even is the exit? Okay, it's actually super... Super close. Uh, out of nowhere, a stranger suddenly appears, clad in furs, face just visible amongst the heavy, heavy garments, looks sallow as you approach, he offers a small parcel wrapped in leather. Valuable equipment is inside. You look up to thank the stranger, but he has vanished. Is this just better? Oh, thank you. An extra 5% on energy uh, usage reduction is choice. It is freaking choice, man. All right, uh... God, I really just... I hate how many dangerous terrain events there are here. We are going to need to be careful with our actual health here. Our actual HP level. Uh, quickly pull myself up or carefully let myself slide. I, I don't want my energy to go down because then if my energy goes down, we have to use a tent. And that would just be... That would be just as bad for my oxygen. And my my heat, it's annoying, but, like, it's just... It's going to be fine. Uh, let's put on the super body temp gloves instead. We'll head over here. And then after that, as soon as we go down to, like, this area... Which is optional. But it is risky. We can do it. The Northern Lights, what a sight. Beautiful. Sure. Why not? So is this, is there a symbol for when we're out of the danger range? Because if this is out of it, then that's very much where I'd like to go. Oh my god. Okay, well this is obviously ice. 
very rough terrain. Okay. Uh, there's only one danger event by doing this. Nope, there's two. It's fine. If we go another way, there's like there's gonna be like five. This is just gonna have to be good enough for now. But most importantly, have we done it? Are we out of the? We are out of it. Okay, good. So that means we'd be out of it right here too. So oxygen is going to be on the climb. Thoroughly search the tents. I mean, maybe we just do it, right? And then we immediately use our thermos right after. Find two. <gasps> See, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly why. All right. So the question is. Is it more important to get. So we have warm up now. What's more important to keep then? In, in the moon herb? Might be the moon herb. For, for next time, since we have we have the gloves, we have this active ability. Alright. We'll just, yeah, boom. Just use that a ton immediately. Uh, can we make it here? Holy moly. There's an extreme amount of danger. Alright, if we go up here, we probably enter the death zone again, so I'm going to just use my tent, I think. Right? When do I lose it? I lose it there. There's just too many, too many different ways where we could start to lose a lot of HP. This is super worth it. It just doesn't matter too much. We might get another tent at the start of the next mountain, and we also have four, four tent uses anyways. And it makes it much easier to justify potentially throwing the tent away now, too, which I would consider to be a benefit right now. I would consider it to be a benefit to have it be one because we... Uh, okay. Just, just, just go around. Just go around. Don't risk nothing. Don't risk nothing for nothing. One danger. That's so many. Uh, that's so many events, and it is at nighttime. I think we. I think we have to do it right. We have to cross over this regardless, and we. But we won't have to cross over it again. Please, nope. Okay, good. I don't want to be min maxing my my equipment too much. So yeah, we've re-entered the death zone. That doesn't really matter. Sanity or energy? Let's take the energy. Thank you. I was hoping for some uh, some XP, but we, we take those. I wish we could go up there and then go down, but I think it's going to be all right. I, I really do think we are just basically, uh, I think we're basically just XP farming right now. Thoroughly search the wreck. It takes a lot of heat and oxygen. Oxygen, it just doesn't matter. We will will be fine. The heat, I think it's okay too. You find some equipment. It is a much worse tool. Do we at least get some experience out of the mix? I hate this. I hate what I'm doing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What if we just, uh, beans? Okay, we're fine. We got lucky. We got lucky. That could have been bad. Alright. Take a detour. Continue my journey. Climb over the antenna. Continue your journey. Let's stay and look around here. Alright. Certainly antennas from years of occu uh, years. The years of occupation. Presumably some kind of radio relay station. What was it used for? While you're pondering the question, you spot some provisions that have been left behind. Alright. So I'm actually going to just pop this right now. Because that makes it much easier to uh, decide to go here. That that really takes a, a large amount of the... Please switch to the gloves. Uh, I wish we could do it in events. I really do. Makes it so it's really not too big of a problem. Yeah. Like, the heat... Sure, it's bad. Yeah, yeah. But we can just, uh, we can just trade... Like, it's a good trade, too, you know? Like, it is a it is a good trade. 
Events over there. We could pop down here. What does that look like? We run out. Oof. I think we rock this. Body cap's fine. Oh, wait, no, it just didn't update yet. It's not fine. <laughs> it just didn't update yet. So we already, oh, we already had the gloves on, too. We already had the gloves on. Uh, I think we ought to keep them on. I think, it, I think it's more of a benefit. We'll go over here. We'll, we'll hit up the cave. We'll hit up that, I guess. Wait, is that a path through? That is a path through. It's just a dangerous path through. We will pop on single-minded when we get to this point, for sure. Right, like, right after the... Yeah, right right after this cave, I'd say. We have our gloves on. There's a chance... Just a bunch of free experience. Yeah, I was gonna say, there, there's a chance we actually just straight-up gain heat out of this mix, too. Nice. Obviously, we don't, we're not gonna get any more of that nighttime experience, that juicy, juicy nighttime experience there. But it still works. Uh, we want to delay time until nighttime before uh, we get there, for sure. Uh, so there's no, ac there's actually no danger event. So this could be something that um, requires energy or requires time. So I don't want to go for that. Quite yet. Search the case. Got no choice. You're in luck. It contains provisions. I've never seen a bandage before. I will just straight up use that. Alright. Careful steps. Spend more time moving, but ignores dangerous terrain. Body temp up while moving on stone. That's a that's a frequent thing. Increase your oxygen gain per hour. Maybe. Time for sanity. I do like events that pass time. Or uh, active abilities that pass time because there, there's some situations where even just the passing of time is a benefit. Body temp on stone. This could make it like if we could get ourselves to a situation where. Um, heat in its entirety is a stat that doesn't matter to us like if we can get to that point that's really good like that's huge you know okay it doesn't it doesn't take any time it's just the booties that we already had there i feel like the events near the bottom are like worse events or, or worse, they give you worse stuff, I'm pretty sure. It, it certainly feels that way. Snowdrift, danger, unpredictable things could happen. But they can't, though. How much longer do we have our single-minded on? Three hours. Absolutely take the health. So it looks like we're maybe going to be able to make it to the next mountain. Oh, my God. This just got real loud. All right. How much longer? Three hours. 2.15. It's so, 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 so worth it. And then we get to make it there at nighttime. Which is really, really ideal. Because we should get experience for completing the mission. So, uh, it going up by 50% by being at nighttime is very funny. Get you into the hole. Get... An even better oxygen mask. Oh my god. We are so busted here. We are so busted moving into this final, final, final mountain. Maybe the final mountain of the series even. I'm so excited to potentially go out with such a bang. No experience gain. That's okay. That's okay. You reach the mountain ridge that leads to the final summit shrouded in mist. Stabbing pains in your stomach force you to stop and lean against a rock for support. But... Nothing, but nothing. You wretch. But their stomach is empty. You dry heave until green phlegm is dripping down your chin onto the snow. Jesus. You can't go on. You spend the last of your strength to make a camp and prepare for the final leg of your climb. Huge, though. Absolutely huge. Muscle fatigue. Extra 10% energy cost on all terrain. Extra 20% time cost on all terrain. Oh, boy. 
All right, so what the hell do we want to do? Very cold nights. What is that? An extra minus two. I, we could probably handle it. Heavy blizzard. I feel like heavy blizzard or very severe storms. I feel like those can be fine. Very eerie surroundings. Minus 3.3 .3 sanity per hour while moving. I don't know. It's probably fine. Man, the, the severe storms, it, it could be terrible. Very thin air. I mean, we have our oxygen mask that should make this not a problem, really. So climbing the mountain up to the normal point is not a problem, really. But then when we get there, it's going to be really bad up near the summit. Uh, very eerie surroundings. I feel like we just, I feel like we're going to probably end up taking one of those. Very cold nights. I Like, even though we can handle this, I don't know. I, I don't know. It might not be too bad. An extra 25% energy cost on all terrains really, really sucks. I'm going to go for this. None of them are good. Like, let's be honest. They all they all suck. That's the point of them. That's the that's the point of this is they are all bad. Uh, your body is scarred, but your will is unbroken, and you stand face to face with the island's highest mountain. No matter what you find up there, this will be the story of a lifetime. Now you just need to survive long enough to tell it. All right, I'm terrified. Is our oxygen going to go down? No. Okay, good. So it must be what is it? Is it 1.75? Uh, okay. So I guess it just rounds? Or maybe we have... Oh, is it because we gain oxygen while moving on, like, stone or something? Nope. Probably just rounds it to, to like, nothing. Or maybe, just maybe, it's only one year like actually in the in the summit zone so we'll just click that and we'll just go we'll just go up to the top see we'll, we'll have sanity we'll have oxygen why not let's, let's just go okay surprisingly garbo starting area surprisingly garbo starting area Uh, we're going to gain heat regardless, so let's use less energy. Sanity is going to be a problem. Sanity is going to be a big problem. I'm glad we have two of these. All right, we'll, we'll have to think about that when we pick our next perks. Uh, the, the sanity is quite bad right now for us. Just doing our planning here. What do we got over there? There's a cave. I don't hate the idea of just, like, actually just straight up going to the cave. Or straight up going, oh, lying on the ground, two dead mountaineers. They haven't been here for long. You'll notice the symbol of their clothing is the same as the one in the tent you plundered. Oh, my God. That was, like, I can't. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> so there's a sanity loss. That's rough. We will want to be a little bit stingier with the uh, sanity stuff in events as well, then. Um... All right. We should be fine then. We should be fine then. Got to remember we do have the uh, the warm up as well. If we if we do need it, we shouldn't need it for a while. Like maybe during the cold weather that might start to become a problem, but energy is going to be a much more critical resource for us to keep at the moment. All right. Like I don't want to pass too much time either right now because the cold weather day is going to be a bummer. Search the fur pouch, of course. The hell? Oh, baby! Oh, boy. That's... That's becoming an issue, huh? We probably should have just used our tent, like, immediately. We 
could really not care about heat, which is exciting. I think it's more, I think it's more routinely useful. So wait, though. Wait, though. Did we not pick thin air? We did. Okay, so it, it must only be... Huh. It must only be at the, uh, the, the, the summit. Which is cool. I'm glad. I'm glad. That's super helpful. All right. Okay. Free sanity. Free experience. Don't mind if I do. Lay down and sleep. Do we want to sleep a long time? Sure. Sure. Yes, I know that puts us closer towards the, uh, the cold weather. Which is a little stank. But, tis what tis. You think I should go up there, huh? I wouldn't say it's stupid. I wouldn't say it's not stupid. We'll do it. We'll do it. Uh, I feel like these shrines often have sanity gain as one of the possibilities. We gain, we gain a lot of temperature at night still. A lot. That is fantastic. And, and the fact that we got the 140 max body temp means if we start falling, it's going to take a lot longer for it to hit zero. Health or energy? I'm going to get the energy. Sure. I am honestly not against that path at all. Seems good to me. Satisfying to be in a spot where we we are so properly geared up that this trek is really not bad. <laughs> like, you would think this would be a lot. Like, in fact, we'll actually probably want to stop right even uh, here, and then we can we can make it even even less problematic. If we had something that could pass time, I wouldn't mind passing time to get single-minded uh, before we trekked up there. Or if this, maybe this event will have something that'll let us pass time. We'll see. We'll see. Also, if a dangerous event happens, it happens. We lose a little bit of HP. I think we'll be okay. We get experience out of the mix anyways. Very, very, very vertical this is. Uh, okay. Put your hood down. Oh, hey, there. past time. Hey, look what I said. Hey. You pull your hood down around your face, glance around, you notice some tracks in the snow, pop prints leading, looking like they belong to a bear. The pattern's unusual, as if the bear was walking on its hind legs. Tracks lead you to a cave. A steaming kettle hangs over a fire pit. Next to the fire, sits a figure draped from head to toe in animal furs. Could this be your bear? I'm going to give him a flask of tea. Gazes stoically into the fire's face, obscured by a wild thatch of beard. He ladles the contents of the kettle into a bowl and hands it to you. The stew has a strong odor that stings your nostrils. Can't help thinking... Wait, can't help thinking that if you're not careful, you might wind up in that kettle yourself. They're not, I mean, I, they're not going to literally, like, what's the worst case scenario of this? You get eaten the runs over? Okay, the stew tastes even worse than it smells. You only just managed to choke down the vicious slop. Whether you'll be able to keep it down is another question. It burns your throat. There's no way this stuff can be good for you. You look helplessly at the hermit, but he won't meet your eye. You thrust the bowl into his hands and take off. You hope he hasn't poisoned you. I mean, that sucks. But oh well. Is this really... This is the only bad event. Also, cold weather and we're losing no body temp. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is what I'm talking about. We are busted. Broken OP. Insurmountable guide coming to you 2021. Top 10 most busted builds tier list. Number one, 
Batman build. I am the knight. Oh, look at that. Rocky landscape in front of you, scarred by an elongated fissure. On the other side, you see a strange, strangely regular block of stone. Something on top of it is reflecting the light. You slowly approach the edge of, of the fissure. A narrow wooden bridge with a rope at hip height. Last time we did this, it was totally fine and successful. Let's just see what it's like. Maybe it'll fail. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Same, same thing. We, we made it there. Easy peasy. And honestly, this is fantastic. Good, good chunk of experience. And we got an extra herb. Weakens the effect of cold weather. Increased sanity gain in events. See, I, I want to do this. Like, I want to get sanity. But, like, God, 20% and only in events is really bad. When you suffer a dangerous terrain event, gain 15 energy. Wow. We're already fine on on cold weather. Like we're we're fine we're fine on heat. Anything else, I think is just gonna it's gonna start getting silly. But if we did this, then we could put on um our energy gloves. We could look at it like a, a way of gaining point five or point seven five energy movement or, or what is it fifteen percent energy cost reduction. But let's do this. Let's do the single minded. I I do think that maybe maybe that could be a problem. We have this going still. No, not for long. Gusts of snow pelt your face as a bear rears up behind in front of you. What glowing aura surrounds the creature as it gestures you to follow it? For a moment, you wonder if you've gone insane or maybe the hermit poisoned you and you're now suffering the consequences. It's also possible that you're long dead and the bear is guiding you to the afterlife. Okay. Follow the bear. So you have been poisoned? This isn't quite the way you thought you'd go. You figured you'd wind up buried under an avalanche or crushed by a boulder. Proper mountaineer's death. You look around, the bear stops near some shrubbery behind it. You can just make out the mouth of a cave. You cast some, cast about for some sign that you're in the afterlife. Nothing. But you find some real provisions. A ver some very real provisions. Well, that's a relief. Okay. Okay. I... I'll take it because we should probably use, like, you know, we should probably use up our sanity thing anyways. Sure. I I wish that this, the 20% thing, I, I like the flat numbers a lot more because often it would probably be like, but it, it makes sense in this scenario, but it'd be nice if it was like, uh, in an event, the penalties of, energy, or, uh, of sanity loss have been weakened and the benefits are also better as well. Uh, temperature is something we can afford to get rid of. You move crate after crate until you've created a narrow corridor to the torches. You quickly stow them in your pack and get out of the cave. All right. Um, now this is a little tight. I can't use my tent, obviously. I could increase my light radius. I feel like there's no no problem with just actually taking the moon herb as well. But then it's like, what else? What's the other thing I'm going to take? The the freaking thermos? I mean, we could, I guess. Could Here's the other thing. Could we, could we even fit it if we did that? We can't. We actually can't fit that. Even if we, even if we, we would need to get rid of one of these things. Which I think we could do. I, I really do think that we could get rid of these fur gloves at this point. I do think that. This is tough. It's, a, it's such a, it's a temporary game, though. I could obviously eat the beans. But they are just so good near the summit. Be canned food is really really powerful near the summit so I, I i don't know i'm i hate that we have to make this decision what i wish is that i had used the tent already but i think i'm actually gonna ditch the tent i can't use it it's it's one use of the tent is the thing it's not and look at that we are still gaining temp you know let's go here 
I'm a little bit worried about the sanity, and we do keep on spending a lot of these situations, uh, just going for even more problems there, but oh well. Go for that. Down we go. Sleep through the night at this point, because hopefully we can use our... Follow the light. Well, this is not going to be a torture situation. Get some sanity back. Good stuff. All right. We start the day anew with a very dangerous weather event. Oh, my God. I can't see. Garbage. Can I make it there? Oh, it's, it is. It is not worth it. Uh, is this worth it? Not worth it. Is this worth it? Yes. All right. We are obviously going to be going for that. But I'm going to switch to the energy cost reduction. Uh, do we have the climbing one? Good. I Let's just, yeah. Without min-maxing, I'll just make sure that the one we have on for this slightly longer trek is is right there. Warm up. I If this was the reverse, it would be really, really usable for us. Yeah, there's like a big crevice right there. Crevice. Oh, I want to pass time so bad. I just I hate I hate the stormy event for the the visual sake mostly. Hey! Oh, I want to feed. Oh, canned food though. I'm gonna approach it in a friendly manner. Looks at you blankly. You decide to continue walking. Okay. I just I, the canned food I think is really crucial for us. I can't believe that that's really the path to get there. going generally that way anyways it's still on it's still on for two hours let's go here and we'll figure it out from there all right we're already getting close to the death zone in which case we probably should switch to the oxygen mask Really? Okay. Ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum. One time I really I, like it sounds fun to just click the end and just press play and just like use what single minded on cooldown <laughs> or something. If we had that critical uh, the critical event one, that would be that would be the stuff. That would be it. Once again, you can enter the goat. Obviously, we hide behind the, the rock. Like, I can't imagine any other outcome being the correct answer there. Okay, you clear a path to, to a straggly patch of brush. You hear a dull metallic thud as your boots make contact with a round hatch in the ground. It is not round. Takes a few seconds to fully take in the strange discovery you've made. What the heck? One second. All right. Well... I'm going to call it here for now, because I don't know what that really loud beeping is that my computer's making. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Check out the channel for all of you tomorrow every single day. I will see you next time. Bye.